Hi, my name is uh, Nihar Thanawada. I am a graduate from IIT class of 2011. Uh, right now, I uh, am a co-founder at the Home Salon. It's an online uh, business uh, space which for beauty and wellness services. We've been currently operational for a little over a year. Uh, we are in the city of Mumbai. Uh, what we essentially do is we provide beauty services uh, and wellness services uh, to our customers on demand. So I came to ISP in 2010. Uh, before that, I worked in Ernst & Young as a consultant for around six years. Um, I went there in 2004 after I finished my uh, CA. In Ernst & Young, I was focusing on consulting with companies across various sectors such as retail, uh, FMCG, uh, even telecom for a bit, uh, financial companies. Uh, what we really focused on, our team, uh, was in building businesses uh, you know, from ground up. So it could be starting operations in a new market, it could be starting a new line of business in existing markets, it could be improving existing businesses and so on and so forth. More on the operation side, streamlining and getting things up and running. So I was uh, considering doing an MBA because um, my entire work experience was very focused more from a financial standpoint. Uh, considering my previous education and how I started off, um, it was very finance oriented. It was not a complete roundabout feel of the business the way I would like it. And after a point in time, it once you start going deeper in any field, it becomes difficult to get yourself out. So I think MBA was the ideal solution at that point in time to A, not only uh, pull myself out of that rut, but also get an overall uh, experience and learning, uh, you know, to be able to get into this kind of a line. ISP was one of the only tier one schools which really respected previous um, work experience. Uh, and it was one year, which made it perfect because uh, I didn't want to be out of work for too long. So I think there were various reasons why ISB became the best choice. For me. I think the one year at ISB was a year which was full of everything. Uh, you know, from academics, uh, you know, to the social activities on campus. I think A, it began with meeting very, very interesting people. Uh, you know, I had worked with success. I, I, I had thought I already have had my share of meeting interesting people, but when I came it was a surprise. People from different walks of life, different kinds of experience, uh, very, very high intellect. So the peer group is something you'll never find outside of campus because it, it's all brains packed in one campus, right? So the kind of learnings you draw from each other in all the events, in, in all the, uh, you know, uh, course materials, the, the, the student study group and all of that, it was just phenomenal. Apart from that, I think ISV, the one year out here, gives you a lot of, uh, a lot of power and a very, very good platform to achieve whatever you want, right? So I think the best thing about ISV, I feel, was that you can set your own path. You can decide what you want to focus on and you can you can go and sky the limit. You could reach out to, uh, you know, the heads of any company that you want. You could reach out to anyone, anywhere in the world um, and, and strike a conversation. This power and, and plus the network really helps you. So I think all of this was extremely good, you know, uh, from a professional standpoint. When you stay together, the kind of relationships you develop are extremely strong. That takes you really, really far ahead in life because uh, here you meet people and develop relationships with people you intend to be in touch with and you intend to, uh, you know, be in long-term association with. So I think that really helps. ISB is known for the social side too, right? So you have all your fun activities, events, parties, where you sleep four hours a day, you know, you do all kinds of things and you know I think it's just overall going back a few years when it comes to fun, pushing yourself ahead a few years when it comes to professional. I think it just is a great balance. So I think that's that's what I would really take away from this campus. In ISV, um, since I came from a, a background in retail consulting, I chose to be with the retail club. So I think uh, I was the president of the retail club. We did a lot of different events here, we brought a lot of senior speakers here. Uh, we also organized uh, business plan competitions for people were interested in doing something in this space. Back in the day, it was more of an offline space, so very different from the way it is today, but it was very interesting nevertheless. So I think uh, that was again a very, very good experience because I was able to reach out to a lot of influential people, get them to campus, and uh, a lot of students actually went ahead, presented plans, and they are actually running their businesses today. ISL, which has become a very big thing in ISV, was actually set up during uh, our year. So, you know, right from uh, conceptualizing how it should be built and Today it's become much bigger than what we had made at that point in time. Bidding for the teams, so we were we had bid for a team which won the IS, ISL that year. So I think the entire experience of getting everyone together, bidding for players, I you know actually trying to mirror it to some ways, uh, you know, to the IPL at that point in time. I think it was very very exciting, it was very new. And it came, we did this towards the end of the year, uh, in the second half of the year, which was great because you know a lot of pressure of uh, the academics was off. Uh, people already know what they want to do, so everyone was focusing on this. So it was a great experience and I, honestly we are very very happy to see where it is today. I think the network is extremely extremely helpful, it's young, 
uh, so it's very proactive uh, very aggressive uh, rarely would you not have people helping you if you need help uh, of course it goes both ways i mean you also should be able to contribute to the network but i think that is a phenomenal takeaway uh, and that is something you keep realizing every day of your life after you've passed out also now that i am actually uh, in a space where i am running my own business i see the benefits even more um, i've in fact brought on board uh, people in my company through the network also uh, and not not necessarily i see people it is people through the network again right so i think overall it's the network is very powerful and the good thing is it's only going to grow in the coming years i think the one year at isb was a very very good experience in being able to transform myself into something completely different from what i was one of the reasons for coming to isb was to get out of a certain you know rut that i was in uh, and have a completely 360 degree perspective you know to give an example right from isb i went into real estate private equity which is completely different from what i'd done before i was there for four years and now i'm in an online beauty and wellness service space which is again diametrically different from what i was doing in the industry that I could be but i think the one thing that has allowed me to move across all these different platforms is uh, the experience that i have right where you look at things very differently you actually have a perspective to bis- businesses to issues uh, to problems and the way you deal with them it gives you a certain sense of confidence it gives you a certain sense of uh, you know what abilities you have and what you can achieve not once did i think uh when i decided to get into this that it's a completely different space and uh, i don't know and i don't have any network i don't have any connections it was just the fact that there was a right approach to which i did things and it started working it would have not been possible had it not been for that one year in iit there are a lot of sounding boards that you create when you are here uh, so you can even easily reach out to people who have probably made investments in a certain space you can reach out to friends who worked in this space and they are ready to have a chat with you you know share their experiences and i think all of that really helps people uh, collaborating with you uh, you know and and you just being able to make a path and keep moving forward i think just the approach at isb and the way you deal with every situation the way you realize you're always high on energy and if you can if you think you can do it you can actually do it that is a very uh, abstract feeling which you cannot really say that it was this event or this incident that made me feel that way but i think it's this when you look at the entire year after 2 to 3 years you realize that it is it is the small things that you did that make a difference so during isb uh, we were organizing you know all the parties which were there during solstice um and and there were and we decided we have three parties on both the evenings and in the afternoon on the first day itself when a lot of students were arriving uh, we were going to build something and 2 hours before our vendor actually didn't show up we were obviously in a lot of stress right because all the incoming students were already there they were all you know waiting for where the party is and this is 9 pm 8 pm and the guys not shown up and i think that was an extremely good experience because that moment of stress a lot of our friends who were actually not a part of the management team they just got together uh, you know one person ran out of campus they got some they got the guy uh, you know people we were actually putting up the shamiana on our own because of that and and before we knew it it was up and it was perfect So I think that was a very good experience because what we realized is that whenever you need help people just show up and people just do what is required and this we kept seeing in everything it could be in academics it could be in someone's birthday it could be an event like this where something very critical happening so I think that which is the spirit of ISB one thing ISB teaches uh, you is how to look at situations and have a view uh, you know and one thing that happens when you develop a view is that you start thinking on your own about how things are going to be done uh after a point in time you realize the only way you can really go the distance with the way you think about situation is doing your own thing and for me personally i have always been extremely excited with the idea of building things right um i've done that all along in my career uh in consulting and private equity where we build things from scratch so i think just the idea of building something on my own and and knowing exactly how i want to build it is what really passioned uh you know or fueled the passion of getting into entrepreneurship and in terms of experience it, it is it is an eye opening experience i've been in this for a little over 6 months and i can positively say that what i have learned and what i deal with every day is far more far more exciting and uh you know in terms of learning in terms of experience in terms of every possible way then maybe the past 6 years of my life before so i think you know the kind of situation you deal with 
the fact that the buck stops with you, the fact that you cannot delay things, the fact that you face conflict, you take crucial decisions, and you learn to take the next step and move on. Get together, reassess, take a next course of action, but that's life in a country. At this point in time, we work pretty much, the entire team works seven days a week. Uh, we, we push ourselves to take a break uh, because it, it is an out of body experience. You, you want to be connected. You see new things every day and it, you think it and you can do it. I think that is what defines entrepreneurship. There is no break, there is no wall, there is no barrier. You can go the distance. Just that when you have a view, when you, when you know you want to do things in a particular way and even there's nothing stopping you, you go do it, you will fall. You will, you will know there are problems. But I think just the way you look at problems, you find solutions. Right? You don't get stuck. You have the confidence to go on, you know you can, and you move. And very often, if anyone just moves ahead, they will find a solution to the problem. So I think that's exactly what ISP teaches you. So I think that's what is really helping me right now as well.